Hi everyone, Professor Cadenice here, and this video is intended to help you to be exposed to MLA citation. So, when you take your 101-108 course, you're going to be asked to do works cited pages, and you will be taught how to do this. Teachers do it differently. Sometimes you're going to start doing it right away, sometimes not until the end of your 101-108 courses. So, I just want to expose you to it so that you understand it and that you're ready for it when it comes next semester. You don't have to master it this semester. You don't need to create a works cited page for your persuasive essay or for your final exam essay. You're just going to be doing in-text citations, which I've begun to tell you about. So this is a really cool resources, resource for creating your citations. It's called Citation Machine. The purpose of having citations is to tell your reader where you got your information from. So the in-text citations are kind of like little abbreviations that send your reader to the end of your, where your work cited pages to learn more information. If they want to check your source, if they want more information from that source, if they want to think about it more by looking it up, um, they'll have that information. So like the in-text citation is kind of like a shortcut. Um, so a way to do this, which is really excellent, is called Citation Machine. So I'm going to just walk you through it. I'm going to do, do it all on the screen with you so that you can see every single step, including potentially some annoying advertisements. We're going to do it all together. So we're going to do a new tab, and then we're going to type in Citation Machine. There it is. Okay, and you can see that there's different formats. You can click on the main page there. Okay, great. So um, you can see some advertisements, right? It's going to like, see, look, at there's a, there's a guy that's pretty great. There's a guy sniffing some pants that you might have to withstand in order to use this service. <laughs> it's totally um, worth it. So when I was in grad school, I may have told you this before, I had to do every little step on my own, but this will do a lot of it for you, which is great. Okay. So, okay, so you want to click on, I want to only create citations. These are the different styles of citations. There's even more here. Um, you'll keep looking at this guy, distracting guy, but MLA is what you want. So you're going to click on MLA right there. Okay, stands for Modern Language Association. And what you can do is um, autofill mode. So let's say you did a, uh, a web page. So let's look up Student Vanguard CCP. This is the CCP College newspaper. So we're going to click on that right there. The Okay, so let's say we decided to let's type in social media. Whoops, <laughs> there we see social media. Let's see what we got. Okay, which one do we want to do? So... Let's do this one. Okay. So Jam and Jelly, the art museum goes to the future. Very interesting. So this is like a museum uh, art exhibit review. So you're going to copy the URL. Let's say, and this would be something, let's, let's say you put this in your paper. Um, you copy, like you did a paraphrase from that article, in other words. So you're going to put the URL right in here. Paste. And then you're going to go search websites. And there we go. So we have the, you have to make sure that it comes up here. If it doesn't come up, there's something called manual entry mode. And you can um, put the information in by hand. It will ask you like for the author, it'll ask you for the title, and then you can generate the citation that way. But a lot of times what you need is just going to be through type pasting in the URL. Okay. Okay. There we go. Good. So it looks like, see, it tells you when it was the title of the website, the publication date, the article, uh, the, let's see. Yeah. So we're going to have to. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that the article title um, was put in as the author. So sometimes that's like a little weird and we're going to actually put the real title, which is going to be jam and jelly, the art museum, 
the art museum goes to the future. Good. Okay. So now everything is good otherwise, and we're going to click create citation. And then you see right here, this is our wonderful citation. So you would just copy and paste this into a new, a new page that's going to say work cited at the top. And then you're going to alphabetize each of these citations. Um, so you can then also click on, so I, what I would say is there's a little button there that says copy, but sometimes that's a little finicky. Um, I just like to do a normal copy like that. Um, and then you can click on in-text citations. And you can see right here that it says Brown 2019. So it's got the contributor and the year here for the MLA citation. Um, I believe this is the MLA 8 update. So it used to be that you would just put um, Brown in parentheses. Um, or you would put the title of the web page. And I think that this has since been updated. That's very interesting. So, okay, so it'll tell you what you can do for your citation. Um, for your in-text citation, you can certainly put author's last name and page number if there is a page number, but if it's from an online article, you can do it this way.